Hey there, welcome to LSAT Demon Daily. I'm Ben Olson, that's Nathan Fox. Together we're the founders of LSATdemon.com and our weekly podcast, Thinking LSAT. Uh, today we have a, a question, what are SOPs and do they help? That's it. Soft just refers to everything besides your LSAT and GPA. Yep. It's hard numbers, LSAT and GPA versus softs, which is everything else. So it's your work experience, it's your you know, academic publications if you have them, it's your resume, it's your letters of recommendation. I guess we should probably lump even your personal statement goes into your softs, right? Yeah, I would actually think of your personal statement as the, your way, as the vehicle to sell your softs or to sell yeah. your best soft characteristic. And so, yeah, your softs can help you, especially if you know how to present them. Um, but I think sometimes people think, oh, I have all these things on my resume. I would be more concerned about your LSAT, your GPA, and then how do you tell one story in your personal statement that really shows you kicking ass? That's the soft I'm most concerned about. Your softs absolutely matter when you're on the bubble being compared mm -hmm. to other people who have similar hards. <laughs> yep, exactly. Right. Like we've been reading so many personal statements on the thinking LSAT podcast. And when we do that, we're kind of putting ourselves in the shoes of how would an, an admissions officer, you know, they've got 5,000 applications. They're going to admit a thousand of those, and they're going to end up with a class of 250. Yep. How do they go from 5,000 to 1,000? Well, the easiest way to do that is with the hards. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're, the 509 data doesn't lie. Look how narrow the LSAT range is. Look how narrow the GPA range is for any school you're interested in. They're they are not going to go out of those ranges. <laughs> the, the bulk of their class, I mean, you can tell exactly where the middle 50% of their class is. And sometimes those are shockingly narrow ranges. Like it'll be, the entire 50, middle 50% 50 of the class will be like between 163 and 166 or something. Yeah. It's just like a yeah. really narrow range. Well, okay. So that range doesn't happen accidentally. That happens because they use LSAT and GPA as the primary determinant of who they admit. Yep. And, but then they are going to read the personal statement and look at the resumes and read the letters of recommendation for all the people that they are even con seriously considering admitting. Yeah. And if your numbers are way higher, than that school, your softs probably don't matter because they were already going to admit you slash give you a scholarship based on your numbers. If your numbers are way lower than that school, then your softs probably don't really matter because they're probably just not admitting you. Yeah. If you're in the middle though, if you're in the range, if your numbers match, then your softs might matter a lot because yeah. they are going to check to make sure that you're the type of person that they really want. And they're, they're not looking to admit a hundred percent of those people who have numbers that are kind of right in the middle, you know, or like maybe the lower end they're, they're like, well, I don't know. And now they're actually comparing similarly situated people on the hard numbers mm -hmm. and they're going to use the softs to then really decide who they like and who they don't like. Yep. Um, and, and it's not just having that soft though. It's also selling it in a way that's easy to understand yeah. and people see it and get it. You right. could be a badass uh, paralegal or policy advisor or whatever at a law firm. But if you can't, if you can't convey that, then unfortunately that soft is going to go to waste. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's like, yeah, it's not enough to just have those line items on your resume. Like they mm -hmm. don't even know what that means. You're supposed to explain to them what that means. You're supposed to demonstrate via your personal statement. You're supposed to show off those softs mm -hmm. um, by, you know, showing yourself winning, showing yourself being successful. You're, you're simultaneously, it's like two kinds of winning in one because you're demonstrating your ability to advocate for yourself by yeah. showing the good facts about yourself. So you're showing the good facts about yourself, but you're also showing your ability to marshal those facts on your own behalf. Yeah. And so that's why, yeah, the um, personal statement is how you sell your softs. And yeah, you've got to make sure that they're coming through in that personal statement if you want them to really count for you. That's a good point. Yeah. Then. 
Um, email daily at lsatdemon.com if you want to ask us a question or share some great LSAT or law school admissions news. Thanks for listening.